Hey what's going on guys, Blues here. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing slash assessing the new Yami showcase we've just seen from Foyu. He just released this on his channel about 19 hours ago. So what I've done is I've gone through and I've basically labeled every move in the bottom left corner. And I'm going to be talking about how much damage and how many hits these moves do, as well as whether or not they're going to be a combo extender. Don't take my word for it, this is just all based on an opinion of a video that I've seen from someone else. So this is just going to be through that, going through that and figuring out like damage, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so let's have a look now. Alright, so first up, I've gone through a bit of a list and I've wrote down all the damage for these. So as we go through, I'm just going to tell you. So starting off, we have Black Hole. Black Hole's basically like gravity which you kind of just go down. You can also see the little purple effects here. So this is basically just a completely reskin of gravity. So what we have here is this hits for around 14 times, as you can see here, 14 times, and did uh, 11 damage eats. So this does 154 damage. So before as well as this is don't take any of these damage as the max amount of damage or the lowest amount of damage. They could be very low compared to what normally is, but this is basically just on his stats, which we haven't seen. And I also noticed the other guy wasn't doing more damage than Foyu. So the person in this could be doing less damage, could be doing more damage, who knows. But yeah, that is Black Hole. As you can see, it has a quite a big range and it is a combo extender. I'm not too sure if it's very true. You'll we'll find out after the release, but this one is a combo extender. I noticed in the video. So what we have next is we have Cruel Burst. So if you look around here, as you can see, this is blockable because he's blocking it here. It hits her around five times before the actual big explosion happens, which is a block break. As you can see, it hit for 85 at the end and counting all the hits of what they would normally do, this damage does 150. So it's kind of low, but the block break is fairly useful, especially because they would have to block and walk back. Otherwise they get pulled in. So yeah, that is cool burst. So here we have Abyssal Form. This one doesn't do any damage, but you can fly around. It's very slow compared to it, and I'm not too sure if it's infinite. As you can see, he's losing stamina as he flies, which is probably why it would be infinite, but yeah, it takes stamina. So what we have here is Dark Liberation, one of the better abilities for this. I think this is going to be really good in grinding Krakens and bosses and stuff in general. As you can see, it kind of like pulls a bunch of blocks and the ground up. And basically just starts firing him at the person. This is very hard to hit because I noticed as he was doing it later in the video, it was also going everywhere and barely even hitting. The blocks do have a fairly high AoE. As you can see, this one over here hit very close to him, but still damaged. This one hits a total of 60 times. So counting the amount of damage this does, I didn't actually get to see the amount he was hitting for this ability because it's too far away. So just basing on what he was being hit for, which is 18 and scaling that based off the other ones, I'm going to assume he's doing around 20 to 21 damage. If he was doing 20 damage, this ability hits for around 1,200. So it is pretty good and I'm not too sure about the cooldown, but it is going to be a really good thing for bosses, krakens and stuff like that. So this one here, we have um, Black Vortex, which is very good. Um, this one is a comeback center as well. I'm not too sure how true it is. It seemed pretty true for the most part, but don't take a word on that either. We'll find out after releases. Anyway, so this one hits 22 times. As you can see, it is a fairly high range because he starts from here and he basically just gets pulled in. It's pretty much a stun as well, as you can see. They're fully stun locked. And this hits for 21 damage. So this does around 462 damage. So it's a fairly good combo extender in my opinion. So here, this is Black Star, which is going to be the alt. It has a fairly big range and can cancel out other abilities. It's not great, but if you want to use it like that, you can. Like let's say you're firing at the Meribol or anything else like that like Goro, it has a fairly big range for how small the actual orb is. So even small orbs it can block. So as you can see here, what it does is before it hits the floor, it kind of pulls them into the center. As you can see, he's just being pulled into the center and does 144 damage. And there's a very high knockback as well. So yeah, that's just going to be the video. Um, that's a review on Yami Yami. It looks pretty good from how it is so far. I'm guessing this might be a legendary. It's not going to be very rare. At most, it might be an epic as well, but I feel like this might be a bit too good for an epic. So yeah, this is the Yami. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, drop a like and a sub and go check my other videos. We'll do another one when another one is showcased and that'll be it for this. Peace, peace.